threatening with the deep reach. Or is he? No, but no let him win the first one. Good stuff there. McQuirick getting away with one early. He is one stubborn fella. All five card poker hands fall into the official ranking of poker hands. At the bottom of the ladder is high card only. Next is one pair, then two pair, then three of a kind. A straight is five cards in a row of any suits. Remember, ace can be used high or low. A flush, five cards of the same suit in any order. Next is full house, which is three of a kind plus a pair. Four of a kind is what it says. And a straight flush, that's five in a row, all the same suit. Royal flush is higher yet. That's a straight flush, ace high. All eyes gazing intently towards the dealer, Amanda shuffling out those two cards of peace and it'll be action on Yannick first to speak steady hands but no cards pass. 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 folded around to the small blind it's going to be interesting to see how uh, the internet players actually play each other's oh. blinds two American qualifiers here from opposite sides of the coast, New Jersey on California crime. And that was Ralph Farrow with the 10-4 hand. And Callahan checking his option with the jack suited. Flop is down. And that six has made a pair for Callahan. I don't think he'll like it if he sees a bet. 2,000. A tickler bet on bottom pair. I think he's just trying to find out where he is. Doesn't want to give a free card for his six and uh, just wants to see if he's in front. And uh, he's found out. Yes, he is. And he picks up a pot. Well, Callahan, who plays most of his poker on the internet, found a pair of sunglasses for this live tournament. I don't think he wears them when he's playing at home. <laughs> Probably not. Players are serious. Cards coming out. We are early still in this tournament. Still six players and not much chip movement as yet. And McCreerick, who marches to his own beat there. That's been his lucky hand, Gary. <laughs> Absolutely. Olympian with the king six suited. Pound will prefer Pass. to wait. And we're around Pass. to Baza, who tosses him in. Pair of cowboys for Ralph Farrow Pass. Jr. That's a big hand there, Gary. Absolutely. The second best starting hand you can have. Let's see how he decides to play it. Does he want to try and be clever? 8,000. Or does he want to try and pick up Raised a pot? Raised 8,000 total. Farrow's in the small blind, so he'll be first to speak after the flop out of position. And he makes 8,000 bet, which is a Pass. How much extra? raise of six to John McCreerick. Four. And McCreerick will be very unhappy if a king comes. <laughs> Absolutely. He's looking at a world of pain unless he hits two sixes in this pot. Unless he, maybe he can catch a flush. Let's, let's see how he goes. Pharaoh immobile waiting for the flop. He's saying no ace. And there it comes. That's about one of the ugliest flops you can have for a pair of kings. But I think with three diamonds on there, Pharaoh's picked up a flush draw. Absolutely. He's... Uh, <laughs> He's going to be able to find a little bit of confidence because he's got the uh, King of Diamonds in his hand as he's just checking there himself. Yep, he had the King of Diamonds. <laughs> Should have remembered that having two red aces. It's difficult not to have the King <laughs> of Diamonds. Uh, <laughs> 15,000 is bet. McQuirk tosses him in and Pharaoh has found some chips now. And I imagine that'll put a smile on his face. Always important to win that first pot, Gary. Absolutely. Gives you a little bit of self-confidence, enables you to a little settle. And uh, he's going to feel like he's hitting cards and he's in form. So uh, even though the ace came down, he still won the pot. And that, that's usually a good sign. And poker players are always looking for a good sign to give them a bit of confidence. Farrow says he's been playing poker 22 years. He used to play in all those Philadelphia games. 
until Atlantic City opened up. So he's been around, but he never did. played in Europe. And he's actually started playing when Yannick was only one. <laughs> so uh, just shows the, uh, the beauty of uh, poker is you can have uh, young and old play it. Pass. Some of the best players in the world are uh, not young, and some of the best players in the world are young. Pass. So it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a game that you can play for all of your life. The great equalizer. Meanwhile, been folded around yes. to the small blind here, and Yannick choosing not to take on John McCreerick. Still early days, and with only 3,000 in the pot before the players see their cards. Plenty of time to either gather chips or be patient. Baza has yet to play a hand when he folds this one. That's McCreerick, who is in the small blind with the ace-queen suited. I have to imagine he's going to get involved with those cards, but the action first to the button, where Yannick's having a go for it, limp in. I call that the sawmill hand, the king nine. And McCreerick is just choosing to peek at the flop with the ace-queen. We're three-way here, button and the two blinds. And that is Graham Pound's hand in the big blind. He's got a jack-nine. Flop is down, and it is all John McCreerick right now, Gary. Absolutely. It's going to be interesting to see whether he tries to lay a little trap here. He's obviously wanted to set a little bit of a trap by uh, just flat calling with his hand before the flop. But uh, he's going to be a bit unlucky because... Um, he looked like he was a bit lost. I think he's just trying to figure out what the right bet is. He's got Absolutely. the milk machine on. Unfortunately for John, he's laid the trap and uh, the other two have walked straight by. Missed them clean and 6,000 will likely take this one. Yannick does not want to compete. And McCreerick, who found a very big hand, top pair, top kicker on the flop, that was the ace, has taken two pots out of two he's played. And he's your chip leader, I think. Oh, he did lose one. He did lose one to, to Farrow, right? Currently second with 104,000 is John McCreerick. There, there hasn't been much besides a ripple and a cough so far, anyway. The players are still feeling each other out this early in the tournament. Barry Hearn's still watching. He hasn't actually played a single hand yet. He's got the eagle eyes on, and now Baza in the big blind. They find he's going to have to play a pot. Action first on Callahan. The canine under the gun. Not yes. interested. Sensible fold. Absolutely. It's a little bit early uh, to be getting too busy with yes. King-9, especially his first man to act. You've still got the rest of the table to show any weakness or strength in the hand, so yes. much more shrewd to, to pass that yeah. one. Let's oh. come around to McCreerick on the button. He'll have a gander with the King-10, as will Graham Pound and Barry Hearn checking the option from the big blind, so we'll see a flop. There is Hearn's cards. He's got the unsuited ace. Three-way action on Graham Pound. Check. Who's Check. checked it up. Check. Two checks to John McCreerick, and he's given a free card. Graham with the Ducks is leading, actually. Players waiting for that turn card. McCreerick a mobile. No change, except a nine would fit McCreerick nicely. Check. Absolutely. See if John can resist two checks in a row. He has. He's managed to hold himself back. And even though Graham's winning, there's actually uh, 19 cards in the deck which can put him behind now. So uh, let's see if any of them come. It did. And that's the, the weird way. <laughs> yeah, that's one, that's one of them. 
Aitäsin.